Do you know what damage vitamin D deficiency can cause to your body? Welcome to the exploration of an often overlooked but crucial element of our well-being, vitamin D. This essential nutrient, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, plays a significant role in our body's overall health. Yet it's surprising how it's often swept under the rug, ignored in our daily conversations about health and fitness. Vitamin D is the silent guardian, the invisible protector of our health. It's not just about strong bones or a healthy immune system, it's about maintaining a balance, a harmony, within our bodies. It aids in the absorption of calcium, supports lung function and cardiovascular health, and even influences our mood. Yet, it's surprising how easy it is to become deficient in this vital nutrient. It's like an invisible threat, lurking in the shadows, often going unnoticed until it's too late. We may be leading a seemingly healthy life, eating all the right foods, exercising regularly, but if we're not getting enough vitamin D, we're leaving the door open for a host of health problems. Vitamin D deficiency is a silent but significant adversary. It doesn't announce its arrival with a bang. Instead, it creeps in subtly, gradually taking hold of our health. It's not just about feeling a little low or tired. It's about the long-term impact, the potential damage it can cause if left unchecked. Imagine the havoc a deficiency of this crucial vitamin can wreak on your body. It's like a domino effect, one system after another, gradually falling out of balance. It's not just your physical health that suffers, your mental health takes a hit too. The invisible threat of vitamin D deficiency is real, and it's high time we start taking it seriously. So, let's delve deeper, let's uncover the truth about vitamin D deficiency, and most importantly, let's learn how we can safeguard our health against this invisible threat. Because remember, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving. Imagine the havoc a deficiency of this crucial vitamin can wreak on your body. Vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, has a unique function in your body. Unlike other vitamins, which we typically get from food, our bodies can produce vitamin D on their own. But how does this happen exactly? Well, when your skin is exposed to sunlight, specifically ultraviolet B rays, it triggers a process that produces vitamin D. It's a bit like your body's own little solar-powered factory. But don't be mistaken, this sunshine vitamin has some serious roles to play in your body. One of its most crucial roles is in bone health. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium from the food you eat. Without sufficient vitamin D, your body can't absorb enough calcium, leaving your bones vulnerable. Not only does it maintain bone health, but it also plays a key role in muscle function. It's like the unsung hero of your skeletal system. But the role of vitamin D doesn't stop at bones and muscles. It's also essential for your immune system. Vitamin D helps your immune system stay balanced during the cold and flu season. It's like a little health warrior, fighting off invaders and keeping you healthy. Moreover, recent studies suggest that vitamin D might even have a role in preventing certain types of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. While the research is still ongoing, it's clear that vitamin D is more than just a sunshine vitamin. It's a multitasking powerhouse that's essential for your overall health. And let's not forget, it also plays a crucial role in mood regulation. Ever wondered why you feel happier on a sunny day? That's right, you can thank vitamin D for that. Now that you know how crucial vitamin D is for our health, what do you think will happen if there's a deficiency? The answer might surprise you, and we will delve deeper into it in our next segment. So, stay tuned. Vitamin D deficiency isn't as harmless as it might seem. It's a silent assailant, attacking our bodies in ways we might not immediately recognize. Let's delve into the dark side of deficiency to understand why we should never underestimate the importance of this sunshine vitamin. First off, our bones. They are the pillars of our body, providing structure and support. But without sufficient vitamin D, our bones can't absorb the necessary calcium and phosphorus they need to stay strong. This can lead to weakened, brittle bones and conditions like osteoporosis and rickets in children. Next, we have our immune system, the body's defense against invaders. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in bolstering our immune function. A deficiency can leave us vulnerable, making us more susceptible to infections and diseases. It's like taking the guard off duty at the castle gates. But the impact doesn't stop there. There's also a strong link between vitamin D deficiency and mental health. Studies suggest that low levels of vitamin D can lead to mood swings and even depression. It's as if a constant cloud is hanging over you, blocking the sun's rays and the vitamin D they provide. Finally, the deficiency of this vital vitamin may increase the risk of certain diseases. Research indicates a correlation between low vitamin D levels 
and an elevated risk of cardiovascular disease. There's even evidence suggesting that vitamin D deficiency could potentially increase the risk of multiple sclerosis and certain types of cancer. Quite alarming, isn't it? But how do you know if you're deficient? Stay tuned as we delve into recognizing the warning signs in our next segment. Our bodies often send out signals when something is amiss. This is particularly true when it comes to vitamin D deficiency. Like a whisper in the wind, these signs might be subtle at first, but they can grow louder if we continue to ignore them. First and foremost, we have fatigue. It's not just about feeling tired after a long day at work. It's more like a constant state of exhaustion that doesn't seem to lift no matter how much you rest. Everything feels like a struggle, and even the simplest tasks can leave you feeling drained. Next up, frequent illness. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in supporting our immune system. If you find yourself catching colds or infections more often than usual, it might be your body's way of telling you it needs more of this vital nutrient. Then there's bone and back pain. Vitamin D helps our body absorb calcium, which is essential for healthy bones. If you're deficient in vitamin D, your bones may start to ache. This can manifest as a persistent back pain that refuses to go away. Moving on, we have depression. Numerous studies have found a link between low vitamin D levels and depression. If you're feeling unusually low or if your mood swings are more pronounced, it might be a signal that your vitamin D levels are not up to par. Impaired wound healing is another sign to watch out for. If your wounds are taking longer to heal, it could be due to a lack of vitamin D. This vitamin plays a key role in creating new skin during the wound healing process. Finally, hair loss. While it's normal to lose a few strands of hair every day, excessive hair loss could be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. This vitamin is vital for hair follicle cycling, particularly for individuals who are losing noticeably more hair. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it might be time to check your vitamin D levels. Remember your health is in your hands. Listen to your body, it knows what it needs. The sooner you recognize these signs, the quicker you can take action. Detecting vitamin D deficiency isn't as complicated as you might think. It's not a mystery hidden in the dark recesses of your body that requires a Sherlock Holmes to uncover. Rather, it's a straightforward process that can be accomplished with a simple, routine blood test. Imagine walking into a healthcare clinic one sunny afternoon. You've been feeling a bit off lately, perhaps more tired than usual, or maybe your bones have been aching. You consult with your doctor, who then suggests a blood test to check your vitamin D levels. You roll up your sleeve, the nurse draws a small vial of blood, and off it goes to the lab for analysis. It's as easy as that. But what happens in that lab? Well, they're checking for a specific form of vitamin D called 25-hydroxyvitamin D. This is the most accurate way to measure how much vitamin D is in your body. The results of this test can help your doctor understand if you're getting enough of this vital nutrient or if you're running a little low. Now, let's talk numbers. In terms of vitamin D, you're aiming for a blood level of between 20 to 50 nanograms per milliliter. If your test results come back and you're within this range, you're golden. Your body has enough of the sunshine vitamin to keep your bones healthy and your immune system in check. However, if your levels fall below 20 nanograms per milliliter, it means you're deficient. You're not getting enough vitamin D and your body is sounding the alarm. On the flip side, if your levels are above 50 nanograms per milliliter, it might mean you're getting too much, which can also pose health risks. But what if you're deficient? How can you replenish your vitamin D levels? Well, that's a great question. And it's what we're going to tackle in our next scene. So stay tuned as we embark on the road to recovery. Restoring your vitamin D levels doesn't necessarily mean popping pills. The road to recovery can be as natural and pleasant as a walk under the sun. Yes, that's right. Sun exposure is one of the most effective ways to boost your vitamin D levels. Aim for about 15 to 20 minutes of direct sunlight on your skin each day, preferably in the early morning or late afternoon when the sun's rays are gentler. But remember, balance is key here. While the sun is a great source of vitamin D, excessive exposure can lead to skin damage. So don't forget your sunscreen if you're going to be out longer. And of course, if you live in an area where sunlight is scarce, this might not be a viable option. That's where diet comes into play. Certain foods are rich in vitamin D and can help replenish your stores. Fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, fortified dairy products, egg yolks, and mushrooms are all excellent sources. Incorporating these into your daily meals can make a significant difference. But what if dietary changes and sun exposure aren't enough? That's when supplements might be necessary. 
They're an effective way to ensure you're getting your daily dose of vitamin D, especially during the darker winter months. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any supplement regimen to avoid overdosing. Regular monitoring of vitamin D levels is also crucial on this road to recovery. It's the best way to ensure that your efforts are paying off and that your levels are within the healthy range. This can usually be done through a simple blood test ordered by your healthcare provider. The journey to restore your vitamin D levels might seem long but remember it's a journey towards better health and vitality. With the right balance of sun exposure, dietary changes, possibly supplements and regular monitoring, you can rebuild your vitamin D stores and reclaim your well-being. With the right steps, you can regain your health and vitality. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. And when it comes to vitamin D deficiency, this old adage rings particularly true. So how do we ensure we maintain adequate levels of this essential sunshine vitamin? First and foremost, let's talk about diet. While it's true that only a few foods naturally contain vitamin D, incorporating these into your daily meals can make a significant difference. Fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, along with fish liver oils, are among the best sources. Additionally, beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks have small amounts of vitamin D. And let's not forget about fortified foods. Many brands of milk, breakfast cereals, and orange juice are now fortified with vitamin D, making them a great addition to your diet. Next up is sunlight. Yes, the sun is not just there to give us warm summer days. Our bodies are designed to produce vitamin D when our skin is exposed to sunlight. But remember, moderation is key. A short period of sun exposure, about 15 to 20 minutes a day, is usually enough for most people. And of course, always protect your skin if you plan to be out in the sun for long periods. But what if you live in a place where the sun rarely shines? Or what if your dietary choices or restrictions make it difficult to get enough vitamin D from food alone? Well, that's where supplements come in. It's always best to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any supplement regimen. They can guide you on the appropriate dosage based on your individual needs. Last, but definitely not least, are regular health checkups. Routine screenings can help detect a vitamin D deficiency before it becomes a serious problem. Plus, your doctor can provide personalized advice on how to maintain or improve your vitamin D levels. Remember, your health is your wealth, and investing in prevention today can save you from the damage of a vitamin D deficiency tomorrow. Take charge of your health and ensure you're getting enough of this vital sunshine vitamin. We've journeyed through the world of vitamin D and its importance in our bodies. Together, we've explored the invisible threat of deficiency and how it subtly wreaks havoc in our system. We've delved into the dark side of this deficit, the health problems it can lead to, from bone issues to mood disorders and more. We've also learned to recognize the warning signs, subtle though they may be, that our bodies are crying out for that sunshine vitamin. Diagnosis is key, and we've discovered the tests that can confirm if we're running low on this crucial nutrient. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also seen the road to recovery, the ways we can replenish our vitamin D levels and regain our health. And most importantly, we've learned how to prevent this deficiency in the first place. Don't underestimate the power of the sunshine vitamin. Stay healthy, stay informed. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like this video for more health insights. Until next time, take care.